Hey, welcome back. Screen tappers, do you like that? Let me know in the comments. I reckon it's pretty cool if we have a name for ourselves, call ourselves something. Really excited. I've just been on a podcast with Greg and Dave over at the iPhoneography podcast. Apologies if you've just seen this live. I just <laughs> just got off there, jumped on here straight away after an hour and a half of talking, came over here, did the live, and then realized that my microphone was plugged into the computer instead of my iPad and and then end up with no audio. So here I am again, doing it again. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, anyway, today we're going to talk about symmetry. We're going to talk about spiral symmetry. And I'm going to talk also, because it's kind of closely related, is uh, is radial balance. This is day 13, uh, 11, day 11 of 30. So I'm over a third of the way through it already, which is really cool. Turning up every day, talking about composition. This is part of my stronger photo composition four-step system that's now available and I now have that there over on launch at the moment, 30% off for two more days. Uh, and uh, But after that launch is finished, I'm still turning up here for the full 30 days. And uh, yeah, just to share these tips. So there's over 100 different techniques and tips in there. So over 30 days, we're gonna provide lots of value. Yesterday we talked about symmetry, we talked about vertical symmetry and horizontal symmetry. Today, spiral. Now. This is the sort of photo that we're talking about with spiral symmetry. So a staircase, that kind of makes sense. It's one we're most familiar with. But why does it work? It works because it kind of, it, we talked about leading lines already, and it works because it picks up our attention and then sends us through the spiral into a central point. Now, these also work because they're typically really clean, uh, no uh, minimalism, there's no distraction. The only components in these sort of photos are there to add value, like each of these staircases provides a line, and that's where the radial balance comes into it. These stairs are a line heading towards the central point. So radial balance can also be a, a bicycle. So you can have a bike where you've got the central hub, and then you've got your spokes all heading out. It can be shooting up into a tree, and the central part, or not so much the center, but, but one of the edges could be the trunk, and then you've got all these branches spearing off everywhere. So that's radial balance. It's pretty cool. Now, uh, here's another example. I'll just bring it up here. Now, not all of us have access to a spiral staircase, <laughs> do we? <laughs> not, not typically built into our homes. <laughs> but something that you can access is, is flowers. And it could also be a weed. Like at the moment in my backyard, I have onion weed which is uh, really invasive and annoying, but the flowers are really pretty. So I'm out there taking, as much as I hate it, <laughs> those weeds, I'm enjoying taking photos of it. So a daisy or, or a flower like this, where you have the petals that go and act like a magnet, bring your attention into the center. And here I've uh, edited this photo to make the green kind of uh, provide a contrast to the stamen there and a bit of a juxtaposition between the nice flat uh, surface behind the stamen there so the leaves grab our attention pull us in or if we start at the central point because we all are a little bit different some will, will go be gravitated straight to that point of fixation right in the center and then from there we might move out see the water droplets on the leaves and then see the edges of the leaves and unlike a bike where the spokes are, are kind of just straight lines the edges of these leaves are curved and we've talked about the benefit of curved lines already that's it takes longer for the viewer to pick up and then follow it along. Instead of just going diagonal or horizontal, vertical, boom, on there with the diagonal, it, it, it encourages you to traverse through the photo and take a little bit more time to get through the photo. That makes sense? I'm sure it does, I hope it does. <laughs> All right, now you can see here in this photo, I'm looking at this little screen here, I've got my phone right here. So. Uh, and then you've got the background is dulled off and that sort of thing. Now, if I had this photo, the flower right in the center, then this would also be a vertical and a horizontal symmetry as well. So you can see there, I've mentioned quite a few different compositional techniques, and that's what this four-step system is all about, is the stacking and combining these compositional techniques to make that really stand out and make it a powerful photo. And then the editing side of it, like we have there, the same 